Hey everybody and welcome to an episode of First and Last. The First and Lasties 3. The Reckoning. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> we went with The Reckoning? Yeah. <laughs> okay. What would you have gone with, Joe? Um, Revenge of the Burritos. Well, it was already First and Lasties 2 was The Revenge. Hmm. Return of the Burritos. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't... Why the burrito? I don't know. I was trying to think of something. Okay, fair enough. Um, well, I'm Josh. With me is Joe. Hey, man. I got Claire. Hi. And Jimmy. What is up? The whole gang's here today. We're yeah. all wearing tuxedos. This is our yeah, very fancy biannual gala. Got the red carpet out. <laughs> yeah. I got a disco ball in the other room. Yeah. Claire, who are you Spinning. wearing? Uh, Kohl's. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> you got a tuxedo at Kohl's? That's pretty, that's pretty nice. Pretty good deal. <laughs> Giovanni Steel. Cole, in his who's like seventy percent off. <laughs> yeah, get that Cole's cash. Yeah. So we're doing. We're not watching a show today because that's not what we do on the first and lasties. Hmm. We're judging shows today. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I guess is what we we're do. Ta- we're talking about the shows that we watched already. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you've been with us for this long, you've listened to two first and lasties. This is the end of season three. So we're going to go through all the shows that, well, our selective few shows that we want to give awards to, what mm-hmm. we think is the best, what we think is the worst. We've got some fun awards. Yeah. It's a good way to catch up if you've missed a few episodes. You're just like, huh, that sounds interesting. I mean, it was I'll even go fun. go back to listen to that. It was even 70. fun for me to like just look at the list mm-hmm. of the 25 shows we did mm-hmm. for season three. Oh, yeah. And I was like, yeah, we started with it's Wings. Like, oh. I forgot we watched that show. Unfortunately, technically, I think one of the last Fraserverse shows that we have left. So I don't know what we're going to do. Oh, God. Yeah, what are we going to do to start a season five? Four. Well, I mean, we have to do season four before we worry about season five. I'm really thinking about the future. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Mm. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm sure Kelsey Grammer's been in other shows, right? He just like just started a new show. Yep. He's a lawyer or something. I don't know. I tried to watch it like last weekend, but... Isn't he a mayor? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Maybe. How many salads does he toss in it? <laughs> I don't know, but the scrambled eggs are just all over his face. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> just, gotcha. That's gonna. I feel like that's gonna sound like it was edited in. <laughs> There's like no sound around it happening. <laughs> we should start with a laugh track. In season four. <laughs> season oh, season. absolutely. Yeah. Less awkward pauses. Filmed in front of a live audience. Uh, I've gotten some ideas from fans for season four. Oh, what, what kind of ideas? Okay, I've, I've got it. I got to open up the text, but one of them was that this is the criticism section of the first <laughs> no and last criticism. Season. These are just ideas. Well, one was like they love the theme month, so okay. you guys oh, yeah. they, they're interested in you guys bringing in some theme months. We mm-hmm. talked about doing that. We didn't at do the it. last <laughs> first and last season. We didn't do one. You guys did the summer, not this did, season, yeah, but the summer. Season. Yeah, we did summer camp. Uh, in so maybe two. there could be another summer camp? a camp or we talked about spooky camp, but we did not do that. Maybe next season. That's in season four. Mm-hmm. I love spooky uh, stuff, though. There's a. We don't have to wait till October. <laughs> if you just want to have a spooky month in like July, spooky we can do camp. it, Joe. But sorry, Claire, keep going. Oh no, it's fine. Um, another one was that. Every single show was connected to the show previously by a character in the show. Hmm. It might be hard to complicate. Oh, like we're gonna Kevin Bacon the entire season. Kevin Bacon the entire so, but it, but they don't have to be in the episode that you're watching. Sure, so, they just been on the show. They've been on the show at some point. So in some way, you're connecting each show along the way. I can see that being a challenge that Jimmy's really into. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> so I was looking up what other shows are in the Frasier verse. I missed that last bit. If we Kevin Bacon every show in season four. Oh yes. <laughs> see. <laughs> Every show. I was wondering why he wasn't yeah. reacting to you talking about it. It's because he because he started talking and he stopped paying attention. <laughs> that's what happens that. most of the time. Yeah, so that's that's a good uh, fan suggestion. Just just yeah, throwing it out there for that you. That is fun. We could maybe do Kevin Bacon month. I don't know if we could do it for two <laughs> years. I like five. that you're bringing so both hard. together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What what's the next idea that we can put into Kevin Bacon month? <laughs> I'll, I'll find some more, but for now, no, oh, those are the two. We can just talk about oh, okay. season three. I mean, there's more. I've got lists. Oh boy, she's sprinkling got, them out. I got lists. <laughs> she doesn't want to blow it all at the beginning. Mm-hmm. Oh, and you um that I guess I, we can call them out because we didn't we recorded the episode before I I saw the the email. But uh, I believe uh, 
We got an email from was it was it the name Will? Your, Wait, my friend? Yeah. Oh, Andrew. Andrew. Sorry, Andrew. Yeah. Oh Sorry. yeah, his same thing. Sorry, his Willie. detailed list yeah, of we got we got an email from her friend Andrew with a mega detailed list of like shows we could do. Mm-hmm. I mean, this was amazing. It was like you can do uh, Frasier. It's on Netflix. Yeah, like you know, and he, and how it, many episodes? It was, it was how broken long down, they are? Yeah, it was broken down in categories. Mm-hmm. Like Netflix, these are the ones you could do that you haven't done yet. How this many seasons? How many seasons? How many episodes? Mm-hmm. Um, wow. it was like really detailed. Um, I forwarded it to the F and L at mm-hmm. gmail.com well, F and L so, podcast at gmail.com. Yeah, you That's that. it. Mm-hmm. So I, I noticed it, but then like literally, I think when like you forwarded it to me, we put out Mad Men like next week mm-hmm. and that was one, one of them on his list. Oh, I've got some feedback so about Mad Men. We did that for you, oh, Andrew. No. That yes. Was, we totally. It was all you. <laughs> that was, that was cosmic energy coming together for Andrew wow. is what that was. But it was a good list, so I uh, we'll probably feed off that a little bit too. It's a good backup too, because mm-hmm. there's sometimes where you get stuck and you're like, "What is on and what is available for the whole thing?" I've got a couple thoughts in my head right now about stuff tucked away. Yeah, last week I picked Elf for us to do, mm-hmm. and uh, I forgoed a couple other episodes of show that I wanted to do. Interesting. So. Okay. I still want to tackle Walker, Texas Ranger oh, in the boy. future. But wasn't that like a four hour? It's like it's like three it's hours, like, four like, hours of TV. Oof. Yeah. Oof. It's not a Thursday night recording session. But this is yeah. not. So Andrew wasn't the first person to send suggestions this season. This is the first season of suggestions. Yes. There was another person who emailed F and L podcast at gmail.com and he gets the first first and last e for the first suggestion award <laughs> whoa that's amazing we should email him with like a little detailed award can we please do that i mean yeah you can i'll give you yeah. the password and I'm, you're like stuff. the one that can creatively <laughs> design like, a thing who is this what is this again email, email banner and who, <laughs> i email him he's email like who, who are you <laughs> <laughs> completely forgot whatever <laughs> yeah it you got some Jimmy facts for us? Yeah. I do. Oh, first of all, um, okay. Question. Oh, yeah. So, technically, this would be my week for a show, which we're not doing. Mm-hmm. And I found a show that's within the Fraserverse that is streaming. Can we do that show next week? It sounds like he it wants would... us to say yes without letting us know the show. What? You no, have I'm to... absolutely not going to let you know, but it's going to be amazing well i think that's I mean, fantastic that's, that's the rule, you gotta right? start season four with another fraser verse i mean technically yeah. i mean should... but we're gonna Until run you... out of fraser well, and shows. then you gotta start a different series so we right? gotta petition nbc oh <laughs> is it a reboot <laughs> or a remake joe is which one you kn- i'm still was salty that, the fir- that was one of my was favorite that the last first and last arguments we've we ever had that? <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna reboot this podcast. Uh. <laughs> With new members, new hosts. <laughs> it's just the same exact. Well, that's okay, a re- that's a remake. <laughs> I got some. Oh. Are you gonna argue? We're not gonna argue about it. Oh, okay, okay, I'll go. I I so to... I do have some analytics. Um. Okay, the first being uh, our sh- so our shortest. I've been doing this like shortest, longest. Oh, nice. Uh, of the pods, this third season, the shortest was "Man Seeking Woman." Shortest episode. Yeah. Mm. Was, was that the one that was just you and me? Or were you here for that show? No, you guys had uh, you guys had a third, right? Or no? No. No, I think that was just. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe it was, it was just, just me you and Josh. Two. It was under an hour. Well, according well, to yeah. people who Still scored, not our shortest. According to my chart, the people who scored points were Jimmy and Josh. So nice. Yes. Yeah. I think it was just you two. Um, yeah. Frasier was still a good 10 minutes shy of that episode, so <laughs> still within, well we're within. We were shy. We were real shy. Normal. Yeah, we were shy boys back then. <laughs> uh, our longest was Friday Night Lights. Yeah, mm. there's a lot to say. And we had a fourth so on that much one. To, I yeah, still have so much to say about that. Our friend, <laughs> our friend Mark was here for that one. Oh, that's right. I forgot about Mark. Yeah. He, he, was, he was in, he was in he town there? just itching for some football yeah. watching. That episode is still not as long as our very first first and last season award show. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, oh, okay. And then I have our, our most watched episode of all time or season three. Oh, I kind of uh, have a guess. Ooh, for which? For for this season. For this season? Yeah. Okay. What do you guess for this season? Well, based on the fact that I know 
Joe's friend Elaine like pass it on to a lot of people. I think it's gonna be the Glee episode. Yeah, that's gonna mm. be my guess too. Josh, I always go with the I always go with my my bros the nerds. So I'm going Power Rangers Turbo. <laughs> <laughs> that's I mean, yeah, <laughs> gets the hits. Everybody loses. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> This, uh, you have to be silent for five minutes while I talk. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, this season, uh, The Office UK. I'll edit it out. Oh, <laughs> that's a that, that's episode kind of a... sixty four. Look it up. Interesting. It's a good one. Ricky Gervais is a crowd pleaser. What oh. was the runner up? <laughs> But uh, or people just didn't read long enough and thought we did the office. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> they couldn't. They couldn't get past that parenthesis. <laughs> the office, yay! <laughs> the runner up was King of the Hill. Oh, that was a really good episode. It was. It was really. Good. I think I listened oh, on the car. So good. It's a good show. Uh, most ever so far, Malcolm in the Middle. Yeah, oh. I was crushing it. And then my, you watch the whole series. My, yeah, it's my second Frasier of the yeah. show. I don't think I watched the entire uh, show of any of the shows that we did in season three. Nothing mm. uh, grabbed me like Frasier. You didn't Nothing. go watch Cougar Town? Oh, well. <laughs> I'm not Gross. fully done with Cougar Town. <laughs> or, the British, or the British version, Cougar Town Abbey? <laughs> <laughs> You mean gross, sir. Cougar to nappy. I watched like three <laughs> seconds of the opening. So today I was looking at this. Is we'll get into my superlatives later. My my awards. Mm-hmm. But uh, if we got time, if we have time for yours. But we. <laughs> ah, <damn it. laughs> but we. Uh, I listened to or watched the opening credits to all twenty five shows mm-hmm. to try to remember what. Uh, what happened? When and he... I listened to the Cougar Town one because I wasn't on that pod. Whoa. That was Claire mm. in my stead. I had a lot of feelings. I feel like Claire wishes you were on that one yeah. instead of her. Man, so bad. I watched <laughs> 30 seconds of it. I was like, I cannot believe you watched two whole episodes of this. Oh. The first 30 seconds are probably the best 30 seconds, I would say. Because that's where they're like at the football game. Yeah. Uh, well, I was just watching a random one that had like oh, the okay. opening. I was listening for the theme. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Well, for a second, you told me that before they got here, and I thought you met, you listened to the intro to all twenty five episodes of the podcast, and I was like, oh. Oh. and I was like, <laughs> the our theme didn't change. <laughs> <laughs> no, I listened to the theme song of twenty five different shows. Yeah, wow. and watched I, the I got credits. It, I got it like half of the for way. Every the single next one. There were some great ones. I was real bored at work for a while. I was. I just had huh. some time to oh. kill while the the printer was running. I literally just had to be there to shove more paper in it because we didn't have anyone else there to do it. Jimmy was doing something that he has not bought a different robot to do for him. <laughs> I mean, you know, paper runs out at some point. That's true. Right? That's why the other robot puts the more paper in. There's got to be a robot that does that. You just get a bigger printer. But... It's pretty freaking big. I mean, well, pretty printer big. problems aside. Should we take a break and then we can jump into our favorite first and last? After yeah, that? I can't okay. wait. Let's take a break. AKA, I think our food might be done. Oh, oh. there was food. And then Spoiler. there was food. So we'll see you guys after we eat food. And we're back. And it's time for the best and worst of first and last. Woo! How do we want to do this? Who wants to go first? We did worst last. So last first and last season, we uh, we did the worst first, mm-hmm. and then the best last. And we all just said our worst. Together, yeah, we right? went around, said our worst, and then then we discussed because we probably have the same ones potentially. But I don't know. I, I feel th- like disgusted. Okay, yeah. I actually I feel like there's. I would a say. Few. I would say <laughs> I don't think either one of mine were picked by either any of you. Ooh. Okay. I think. Yeah, I think mine is shared. I thought I, I thought like, mine's the right, mine's the right answer. So. <laughs> yeah, I, the I right thought one. season three was full of a lot of really great shows and a really a lot of bad shows. I feel like I, <laughs> I picked a lot of the bad shows, and I <laughs> apologize, to to us apologize right now. <laughs> to all the listeners out there. Yeah, that's that's your part in the in the podcast. <laughs> You pick the broad. You're not the guy that picks the terrible shows. Our, right, her <laughs> I mean, yeah, you pick Cougar Town, which <laughs> terrible. Well, that is true. We'll see how terrible it is. All right, fair enough. Uh, well, so yeah, so my worst was Cougar Town. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
And you stole mine because mine was Cougar also Town. Cougar Town. That's oh, what I thought. Wow. It was so bad. Um, Jimmy, did you listen to the episode and agree with them that it was Cougar Town since you weren't here? You watched a little no, bit of Cougar I, Town. I you hated it for 30 seconds. Yeah, was I was <laughs> impressed. He saw the intro music to it and went, "Nope." <laughs> it wasn't. And I had to and I had to look back and think about it a little bit, but I think mine was Limitless. Mm. Limitless? Yeah. Oh man. Okay. Well, as far as like a show like to watch it first and last. Yeah, okay. So we'll, we'll get there. So I want to be so right now. So today when I did my uh, research, I wrote down all of the shows that we did. Uh huh. I didn't write down Cougar Town on this list. Oh, what? <laughs> and then you're like, wait a second. So how did you? Maybe you skipped you it because it was so bad. You didn't notice that there weren't twenty five. <laughs> I will say also, I was looking at Maybe the I list. Missed. I might have missed two. What's a, what's oh, the other one I God. missed? Look at that. Look at that list, but right. don't look at any of do my you have Limitless? Yeah. Do you have Limitless on there? No, so I didn't do Limitless. With my list. Mine was the Andy Griffith show. Really? It was a really good episode to listen to. Oh, good. But I don't know about the first and last. Okay. Well, yeah. I mean, let's talk about why. So we got two for... Cougar. Cougar. One for Limitless and one for Andy Griffith. Mm-hmm. So make your case, I guess. Um... I guess we can go in reverse order and I'll make my case. So my biggest case was I was trying to think in terms of a good opening to a show and a good ending to a show. Um, and I think the first episode of Andy Griffith was actually pretty good. Like it was, um, we, you know, we learned about Opie and Andy Taylor because that's the name of <laughs> everybody's name for whatever reason. Um, and how they needed to get a new nanny. You know, and so it set up like the, and somebody new to their family came, blah, blah, blah. All that stuff worked out. Right. Like, I stuff, it, you, stuff you typically see in a yeah, pilot. Yeah. I thought it was just like a good, it was just a good pilot. It wasn't anything like special, but it was like a fine pilot. But the thing that made me say it was the worst is the finale. Because yeah. the finale was essentially just trying to say, hey, there's a new show. Yeah. Called Mayberry RD PDF. What is it called? But wasn't that <laughs> was even the not the finale? Like, wasn't there a, like a different ending of the show or something? Well, that was the last episode. That was the last, last episode, but then it continued yeah. on, continued on into a different show, which is right. called Mayberry. Yeah. Rural RF, delivery or whatever. Yeah, RDF, the, RFD or something like that. Uh, yeah, yeah something like that. There was a couple, like a couple of characters went off and did. There, yeah, there was the. The Mayberry show, and then there was another... But wasn't it, like, saying that, like, Andy wasn't on a lot of the last season or something? Yeah, they're essentially just trying to, like, hype up, like, the new show with that right. last season of Andy Griffith's and show. And right. I don't appreciate a show that I'm watching trying to just make me go watch. Like, you know... Understandable. Yeah. Be good. So I was like, I want to finish the Andy Griffith show. I don't want to start Mayberry PFD yeah. before I finish the Andy Griffith show. Like... You know, yeah. the people can be in it or whatever. Yeah. But, mm -hmm. like, I felt looking back and, like, thinking about, like, yeah, Cougar Town was bad. Don't get me wrong. But that was it. <laughs> but the thing about it that maybe, like, blinded me was, like, it, that's just a bad show. Yeah. Like, you know, and I'm saying so it, was, it wasn't good all the way through. Mm -hmm. And at no point did I think that that was going to be a good show. <laughs> um, but Andy Griffith's, like, first episode was like, oh, this is, like, some good, wholesome American, like, old school TV. Mm -hmm. And then at the end, it was just like, hey, Watch this other show now. <laughs> and I was like, come on, dude. Mm, disappointed. So you when I was looking at my list, um, ah, got it. For, so I didn't write down Kurutan and Boondocks. I wouldn't have voted <laughs> oh. for Boondocks anyway for being bad. Um, and Boondocks is bomb. And I thought Kurutan was just a little too easy. Fair. <laughs> a so little that, too so, awful. So that so was you funny. like knew we were going to choose that. No, I didn't. Um, so I didn't because I forgot. We It was so bad I forgot. <laughs> um. Yeah. So yeah, I just so I, suck it, Ron Howard. So based on the <laughs> so based on the uh, the finale, especially uh -huh. of it pointing just heavily towards another show and really yeah. not being the show that we were watching. Yeah, I didn't like that. I don't know that we've had a show like that where like there have been shows yeah. where the ending felt like not an ending, mm -hmm. but this is the first one where it felt just like well, it's just a different show now. Yep. Yeah. Tune in next week for the the I'm show, wondering. but it's entitled something different now. Yeah. And I'm wondering if that was if that was like the first time that really ever happened. Where mm -hmm. they're like, okay, we're gonna start spinning this. See, I'd be I would seamlessly. be more I'd be less surprised if it wasn't common. 
Hmm. Like it's like this is the next time slot. How can we weave these things together? Mm-hmm. We're gonna keep mm-hmm. it really <clears throat> well, thematic. I mean, like The Office <laughs> in its later seasons did a thing that sometime I don't remember what season it was, but they did an episode called The Farm, mm-hmm. which was a oh, spinoff yeah. show they were trying to make yeah. with Dwight as it's the essentially main a pilot within The Office. But they just did it in like the middle of the season. Like, mm-hmm. could you imagine if The Farm was the final episode? Oh, yeah. It'd be of so years? disappointing. Like people would have been. Furious, mm-hmm. okay. you, and I know. I mean, even by the end of the office, people were yeah. barely watching it. Well, thank God for the rural purge, then I guess. Yeah, <laughs> the rural juror, the rural purger. So that's me, um, Jimmy. Yeah, so I said limitless, and kind of in the way that you forgot about Cougar Town because it's so yeah. bad. I like when I was looking through, I forgot about this. I had forgotten about this show. Yeah. <laughs> So Limitless is the one that's based on the movie with Bradley Cooper. Yeah. yeah. It's where a guy is and like taking a... pills to be super smart. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's Crank the TV show, mm-hmm. which I'm assuming Limitless then is just Crank with Bradley Cooper instead of Jason Statham. Oh, but I love Jason Statham. Yeah. Who doesn't? Yeah. That's why there was a Crank 2 and not a Limitless 2. Am I, I right? Was... Don't people like love Bradley Cooper? Oh, he's great yeah. too, but he's no Jason Statham. A solid raccoon. So what's your problem? You don't like drugs? What's going uh, on? Uh, <laughs> the whole thing. Yeah, what do you got? What do you got against drugs? Okay, Jimmy? a I think uh, um, I take an. We NZT did a lot of sci-fi this season three. <laughs> what was that? I said I take an NZT every Thursday to get through these <laughs> podcasts. That's how I'm so smart. I thought it was like caffeine huh? pills. Well, I'm, not, I'm not looking things up on my phone. I just remember things. I guess we'll see if you <laughs> won or not. Oh, because you're apparently so smart. <laughs> Um, it's just as played out the the whole thing, and then and then the uh, finale. Forgot mm-hmm. I forgot what the second half of our show was. Uh, <laughs> First and what the fi- <laughs> what <is> <laughs> middle? <laughs> um, the with the whole like legion of of whom thing. I was like, oh, oh that okay. was that oh, was really yeah. silly That's and stupid. Silly. That's not not We're, being roped in. That was it, and that was a league of people taking the drugs. League of whom? Le- Legion of whom? Yeah. yeah. Whatever. It, they they're the bad. They're the big bads who are trying to figure out. They're coming after him, and yeah, he's he's stealing their drugs or something. Yeah, I feel like the problem with that show is like it's man, it's just really hard to write like a show about someone who's smarter than everybody else because you just have to be. You just have to but be then smart. Still have like, like <laughs> I mean, they continually topping somehow. yourself. Yeah, the BBC yeah. does it with uh, with when they did Sherlock, and that was a really good show. Yeah, but I assume those writers are smart. That's <laughs> because <laughs> they speak British. That show is yeah, hard to they watch. Got British accents. You're People smart. love that show, but it's like a full solid hour each episode. Each episode's like a movie, essentially. Yeah, mm. it's too much. Yeah. Can't do it. You need to take some more pills before you watch it, bro. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> But yeah, it's point. and then it also felt very conventional, where it could have been like a cool sci-fi show, but it was just like, nope, we're just gonna have this smart guy like solve crimes. He's gonna work with the FBI. Yeah, well, because and then by the end, like we were like, oh, he's gonna be. I don't remember what our predictions were, but I know mm-hmm. they were like he's gonna be off doing some crazy stuff or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And then it was just like, oh no, it's just a procedural, and yeah. he's still just yeah. as a super smart guy that takes those pills, still just works for the cops yes. as like a consultant. I don't know if we talked about this on the pod, but I have this an idea for like a limitless type show where it's just the same universe. You have NZT, but you just have people using it in like different professions. Like, what if a basketball player started taking NZT? Could he like know like exactly? He, he'd do some mad spin moves. Well, yeah, because like there's there's physical like... parts of it too where he knows exactly how his body works. So he just every time he every time he shoots a jump shot he knows exactly how much to push and it just goes right. in every time he should be a perfect basketball mm. player right this is why we have so many of these like airbud movies and like space bud oh my just god the dog Did, is just taking nzt <laughs> air, air Buds and doing different bills. things <laughs> yeah they it all drug, makes sense some drug test dogs <laughs> ain't no rule that says a dog can't play basketball and needs to be drug tested yeah we only drug test the humans <laughs> put in airbud <laughs> give them some pills <laughs> He'll score a hundred points. <laughs> oh man! Oh man! He starts walking upright. He's like, "Why am I even playing basketball? I should be. <laughs> I could be Go curing space. Be curing cancers right now." You know what, guys? Fuck Dr. this. Bud. Woof. <laughs> yeah. So okay. Limitless. Yeah, I get it. 
You're yeah. wrong, though. Here's the thing. There's plenty. Yeah. Of, it was, there were so many limits. I yeah, appreciate limits. your answer. But you it's, had you it's lay wrong. out this whole this, <laughs> this case. I, I also did not watch Cougar Town. It is not hard Nor shall I. to clarify why Cougar Town is the worst show. I'd I like mean, you to try. Clarify. <laughs> I'll let Joe Get do it. it. Clarify it. <laughs> oh, hey. Well, it, I Give mean, I literally, all I, all I had to write down about this show was, woof, the worst show. <laughs> Um, I'm sold. It, uh, yeah, I don't think I have anything specific other than we've seen bad shows before. But like, I think I said this when we watched this, or we when we watched that show that, like, it felt aggressively bad. Like there have been shows that have bored me or shows that I just didn't get, but this one felt like because the jokes were so broad and so like in your face that when things happened that I didn't like, I just like couldn't ignore it, and it's just like, wow. <laughs> it was. And it was weird. Like, it was yeah. like the kid had way too much of a good relationship with his mom. And, and then he, he, then he hooked like, up with her friend. Yeah, he and married. It was just like his nice. mom's friend. I feel like there was some Classic. disappointment, too, where, like, I thought it was going to be good because it's from the creator of Scrubs and, like, there's, like, a community connection. So I was like, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to like this. But And Shallow Hell. Don't, don't that forget. community connection meant hell. that Joe showed me, like, clips of that like a lot joe we watched another we, show with a community connection this year yeah and that show was also very bad wait it was what? fine was it community <laughs> connection was it though well the ending saved it for me for love love <laughs> oh yeah the right. first episode was not great yeah hmm. so cougar town but wait <laughs> i'm also thinking of another show with a community connection uh, that we watched not you oh. not you either claire madman Aliens in America. Oh, Aliens in America. What? This is a community no, what, who the creators of that took over. Oh, they took over for like the middle season. Oh, the middle season. Oh, there we go. When That's community right. was bad, right? Yeah. And Allison Breeze and Mad Men. There's mm-hmm. some good. There's some good apps. See, you guys could really do that Kevin Bacon thing for season four. We wasted all our we Allison Breeze stuff. <laughs> yeah, shoot. Dang we it. could still watch her. What's the Netflix one? Glow. She's in Glow. Glow. I've never seen it. <laughs> Did you say love? I said love, but that's uh, that's because he said glow and like it sounded like you said glove together. <laughs> <laughs> glove, glove. Cool. Yeah. No. I mean, you guys aren't wrong. Cougar Town was though. I would say Cougar Town was the worst show we watched. Yeah, I think all these shows that we named were different flavors of bad. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Let's do our best and and raise our spirits. Different flavors of bad is also the uh... it's your new rock band. <laughs> I was trying to think of a band to shit on that wasn't Nickelback. Uh, it's like the, uh, it's the Imagine Dragons greatest hits album. <laughs> oh, oh man! Man, if you have a rock or a rock band thing that Joe could borrow, he would love that. Like, a, like like a video game? Yeah, we've like oh. looked for like Ooh, getting yeah, the guitars and nice. like trying to be. It, I have you a, can't really do it. I think I have a rock band for PS2 lying around. Do you have like the guitar? Oh God, no! I oh, just see. have the game. <laughs> you just play it on a controller. <laughs> can you do that? I think you can. I'm yeah. sure you can, but I I don't know. I had it. It's I mean it's from like ten years ago when people played Rock Band on PS2, mm-hmm. and like I lived with someone that owned all the shit, so uh, I bought I bought it for like twenty bucks because it's like the '80s version or something like that. Mm. That's not important. Let's do our favorite <laughs> first yeah. last. Um, I have to look at mine. Okay, I know what it is. Oh, best. Best. Okay. So are you doing the same thing? Same thing. Just go around and name. Okay. Uh, mine was Bates Motel. Mine was Bates Motel. Oh, wow. Ooh, wow. Really? <laughs> I thought I was going to be out on a limb, but glad to hear. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I thought for sure no one was going to guess our <laughs> guess. It's not, that's not what we're doing. We're not guessing. <laughs> what did you guys pick? Not Bates Motel, oh, but I'm happy about we'll get that. Get you off the pod. <laughs> uh, I picked uh, Office UK. Okay. Daria. Nice. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Classic. You picked a cartoon. I know. Oh, I know. so proud of you. <laughs> but but there- when I was weighing my options, that was the best show that I watched. Okay. It was okay. a good show. Yeah. It was a good show. Well, let's I start. Forget. Yeah, I forget Let, how good that was. Let's start with you, Claire. Like, why, why Daria? So, well, I mean, I only saw six shows this I mean, season. Let's Did you see six? Up. Yeah, I saw six. I only counted five. Well, you forgot one. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> I have my list. Um, 
So I would say of the six that I saw, that one was the best overall. It had the best story arc it had like a connection it had like a really good first and last it had one of those bookmark scenes so that you would remember and it was like a funny show that yeah but it still it creeps me out a little bit the hair didn't move the hair doesn't move it's really and creepy their eyes are dead they're wearing the same clothes yeah cartoons what do they eat a lot they eat a lot of those lasagna lasagna in the, in the yeah. first episode but not in the <laughs> yeah last. i mean they didn't really eat they just ate a lot in one episode and we were waiting for them to eat more in the last episode i did forget about i mean i knew that we did daria but i forgot that i liked that and like maybe i'll go watch some daria tonight daria's good yeah but it had a really good it had a solid first and a solid last i think it established it did a very good job of establishing who the characters were and you kind of knew everyone's lanes yeah mm-hmm. and they stayed true to that throughout the whole show which might be easier as a cartoon than it would be with live action sure but i don't know mm-hmm. i mean mm-hmm. it depends yeah i mean i know Isn't a lot there, of shows uh, I think there's a like a um a f- like a Funny or Die, like Daria live action. That's yeah. like Doi, mm-hmm. Zoe Deschanel or something. No, it's uh, Aubrey Plaza. Yeah. When, oh, when we did the show, we were talking about who we thought should play live action Daria. Yeah. Because we didn't realize that was existed. Yeah. And then we looked it up and we had said Aubrey Plaza. Nice. And then there was a Funny and Die thing. Yeah. So people listening That's to that episode. just her Parks and Rec character. So yeah. So people watching that, listening to that episode were like, idiots. There is one already. <laughs> <laughs> but it already exists. true. You know. And then we watched it after we were done, I think. Yeah, probably. Yeah, right away. <laughs> we're like, oh, yeah, this is a thing. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Good. Go, go go, us. Jimmy, why did you pick what, what did you I, picked? What did I, uh, the Office. It's like, did office you, you know what you picked? Um, it must have been real good. I was just <laughs> super... I did not expect it to be as good as the U.S. Office because... Just because... America's does think i feel like the there's the such a uk <laughs> camp and then like a u.s camp like i don't i don't feel like i know anybody who is both really into both of those shows you know sure. mm-hmm. um you're like one or the other die hard but they like the whole tim and don versus jim and pam thing like man they really sealed it in that last episode and it only been two seasons mm-hmm and the like Jim and Pam thing took like a million years, and I was like, so yeah, so part of it is floored by that the uh, like the succinctness of it, right? Like, cause you watched the whole like two seasons, didn't you? Then I went back and watched it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, it's that great. is kind of a plus of like British shows that they're like short and sweet. They get to the point. Yeah, all yeah. killer, no filler. That's good. Half hour Hot power. Plus. <laughs> oh, are you doing a? <laughs> Some forty one. Did you even know what I was doing? Uh, no, but like when I said all killer no filler, that's the joke I wanted to make. But I realized I don't know any some forty one albums. Uh, yeah, and I said the other Apparently one. You do. I know. <laughs> you Self-titled. know what? Grab the devil by the horns is the other one. <laughs> oh boy, right. I didn't know Wait. that. I'm gonna go listen to Daria and listen to some forty one tonight. Nice. Sounds listen great. to Daria. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> are you gonna are you, are you gonna on. mute Daria and then only <laughs> and listen to some forty one <laughs> while Daria's playing? That sounds like a good plan. I wonder if they sing some forty one. Right. You need like some ninety five, uh, like mid nineties grunge, like or something. grunge yeah. girl rock. Yeah, listen to some Hole or something. Yeah, some cranberries. Splendora is the uh, the theme song band. Splendora. Mm hmm. Cool. They had, that, they had that one album and. I'm not aware of it. Hmm. I did Besides some real deep diving on the themes. <laughs> you must, today. yeah, you really did. You really did. Um, Joe, why did we pick the Bates Motel? Um, I think of the shows that we had this season, and I could be wrong. Well, I guess there's Mad Men, but like it was the, it was the most like prestige drama TV show that we picked. So I feel like that automatically like just gives it a step up in my book in terms of like the quality that I perceive of it. Mm-hmm. But I mean, like I like spooky stuff. And I just feel like it's it was an interesting take on like a story we'd seen before that they the first and last that we watched was before and then after Psycho, um, which was something I didn't expect. I thought the show would end right before Psycho, but it goes after, mm-hmm. and like there was cool stuff in both. Very into Vera Farmiga. <laughs> um, there was strong ties bec- between the beginning and last, but they didn't feel like. Man, I just saw this, and now they were like calling back to it. It's just like it was a. 
they did a thing where in the first episode the mom is showing the kid around the the house and in the first episode you're just kind of like "Ooh, this is the house from psycho (laughs) but then in the last episode it's like the kid what's his name again norman Norman. bates Mm -hmm. he like carrying his dead mother through the house like (laughs) in like the same way that she showed him around the house in the first episode and it's just like a really gruesome and like interesting turn stuff like that that i like great stuff like that that i like to see in a first and last oh that seems a little crazy yeah yeah exactly yeah Yeah, i I, spooky month (laughs) i mean i thought it did a really good job of being a good first and a good last Mm -hmm. um i said my second run my second thought was potentially mad men yeah um and the only reason i really didn't pick that is i didn't think that the last episode was as strong yeah as it could be i still thought it was a good last like i think i didn't like it as much while we watched it Mm -hmm. um but like thinking about it afterwards Mm -hmm. like like for this time afterwards i'm like it wasn't that bad it was like pretty good yeah i guess i actually i read something on reddit about it um and people like people were like mad about it yeah. Some people were defending it, and they're like, "No, this Mad is like about it. this cyclical like scenario." So, like having watched the whole show, people were like, "This is good. This is how Don like this is the circle that Don goes in. It's right. like never ending arc." Yeah, he doesn't really like change or like yeah, he doesn't have an arc. He has a cycle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he just essentially comes in and, and out of like it. Star Wars. The end of the last episode was like. He became enlightened, but really, he just went back and made a coke. Yeah, it's like, about to start over again. Yeah, like, and he's about to come back. And... Yeah, so <laughs> so it's it's good, and with no, that like knowledge that, and I was like, oh, that is a pretty good episode. Mm-hmm. But Bates Motel, mm-hmm. like the the beginning was perfect, like this them getting there and setting the whole thing up. Mm-hmm. And, uh, they were true to form, at least I thought to like kind of like the spirit of the movie mm-hmm. and what it was. Probably not the spirit of like. Uh, Psycho yeah. 3 or whatever that movie was about. <laughs> oh, yeah. And also it was present day, which was weird and interesting. Yeah, because that was the whole thing. Oh, we were trying yeah. to see if we could see cell phones mm-hmm. and stuff and how they were going to do that. Um, so they did a good oh, job yeah, with that, that first weird. episode of just setting everything up and then staying true to form. And then once again, I think at the end, they were still like that. Mm-hmm. And it was, it was creepy and it was good. And all the people just stuck around and dead Vera Flamingo was floating around yeah just, just being a body. ghost yeah it was just a good show yeah I th- it was just a good show and you know a good show is a good show if you don't watch any of the middle yeah. and it's still a good show it felt a lot like like whoever created it was just like this is the show i want to make this is my vision for how we do you know another take on psycho and that's what i'm gonna do and everyone else is just along for the ride Trust me, uh, mm. I'm going to make you five seasons or whatever. And we're going to be done and it's going to be good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll let you do it. I got some fan pick top, top episodes. Okay. So top episodes not meaning best shows, but best episodes for you guys if you guys want to hear them. Sure. So one of them was Mad Men. So as you were saying that, I wanted to say. Mm. So a couple things about Mad Men that the fans said was that you guys got way more right than you gave yourself credit for. Like who specifically? Who said this? No, like who got it right? Though? <laughs> uh, We're well, counting points here. <laughs> let's be honest. It was Joe. Yeah, I got okay, it right. Okay, he Come just wants to have a self call. Like, no, you and... did. You did say stuff about like you kept talking about Coke all the time, mm-hmm. but you kind of like dropped it after a while. Yeah, like, I yes. didn't even bring it up. I like brought up that commercial that was in the finale when we were talking about the first episode. Yeah, and then when it was in the finale, I didn't really like. Okay, talk about and it. this is what the fan <laughs> said. Uh, Joe predicted a Coke ad in the first ep. How did they not argue for credit for its role in the finale? Also, because we forgot about it. (laughs) Also, somebody (laughs) predicted a cigarette client in the first ep, which is true, but I don't remember them getting credit just because all of them just talked about cigarettes in general. So you (laughs) should get added a point. Thank you. Um, But they were very impressed by how much you guys got right. And that, which I think is pretty great. Mm. They also said in the top were Winfred, Ally McBeal, Friday Night Lights, and Andy Griffith. So as you guys as podcasters, those were their tops. Mm. Well, nice. hey, thank you, fan- random uh, no-name fans. Fans. <laughs> yeah, fans. Thank, fans. You. thank you, mystery fans. Fans have spoken. Texted. Mystery <laughs> fans at text Claire. Thank you for that. Friday AKA Night Lights. Her brothers and family. <laughs> There's some other people, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Um, should we take a break for a little for a hot second, and then we'll come back with our fun awards? 
Cool. Let's uh, and then also we're gonna take a smoke break. Is, let's all go smoke some Lucky Strikes. I just want drink to coke. some Coke. Yeah. Uh, oh. And then uh, drink some Coke and smoke some Lucky Strikes. We'll and come back Coke with our awards and also reveal the winner of season three. Ooh. Mm. After this, they probably do Coke and Mad Men, right? back from uh joe's coughing hey, fit we're, back. <laughs> um, we're ready to we're ready to do this before we do should, should we do our awards first or the winner first i don't know which order we do things in awards. i think we did winner last right awards sure. and winner yeah. that's how All you right. set it up okay cool let's yeah. do it like that um who wants to start i guess we'll just do the same thing we did uh last time as well just kind of go in a circle give her awards yeah just like one, one at a time. time yeah yeah okay uh you want to start jimmy um, Since I'm looking yeah. at you, yeah. Okay, this is not. Uh, here's um here's one that I just caveat. thought of that is like sad. Well, yeah, no, sad that it's not going to be a thing is um, Joe last awards talked about um, like a new his his award was like most improved. Oh, you remember. It was Carrie Russell because she was in the Felicity, American. and then yeah. the Americans. And then we talked about watching another <laughs> show to see how she's doing. And we did not watch another Carrie Russell show. I think we—that's fine. <laughs> I'm sad about it. So well, I've been watching Felicity. Wait, lately, is that your award? So. Well, that's a good point. <laughs> it's great. I mean, Jimmy, no, you I just could have picked oh. a Carrie Russell show if you wanted that to happen. Yeah, I guess. What other shows is she in? I don't know. I don't know. That, Probably that's, some others. That is off camera. I'll check research. back in later. I'll check back in later. <laughs> okay. Uh, so number one, my uh, most pissed that I wasn't there for <laughs> wasn't Cougar Town probably. Yeah. Um, I hope not. Hmm. Was it you were there for Glee? I could have seen you be mad for Glee. Uh, love. Well, I was like, there for Glee, yeah. and now my wife and I started watching Glee. Huh. Oh, good for you. It's I'm good. assuming it was love. It's good you got love. No, although I I am pissed about that. <laughs> Because it was my idea to watch it for Valentine's Day week, <laughs> well, but just, then I wasn't there. You just didn't show but that's up. not what I'm most pissed about. Oh. <laughs> wings, wings, wings! Oh. Fucking love wings. <laughs> it had. It you had knew a... what day we were recording. We also had wings that night too. Oh yeah. god, <laughs> it's amazing. Tony Shalhoub. The treasure that they like find at the end from the beginning. Yeah, <gasps> I think what? I called that. You did. Yeah. Oh, God. I don't even know what you're talking that about. That led me to a path a great. Of it, was a, mm. it wasn't as good Would as Frasier. Would you call it a treasure trail? Yes, I will. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, obviously, it wasn't as good as Frasier, but it was a solid wow. show. Mm-hmm. I did go back and watch the episode that Frasier was in. Oh. Nice. And it was fantastic. Oh, I'm sure. Because it was Frasier. Of course. <laughs> of course was. He was giving like a seminar like on the island. Oh, mm-hmm. nice. Or whatever. Because they're on Nantucket, right? Yeah, sounds yeah. Good. I think so. Not Martha's Vineyard. That's what we thought it was. Yeah, no, we were close. We were, we were close. Off. <laughs> All right, cool. Oh, that's yeah. fair. Okay, well, so Wings Jimmy's, gets one. Jimmy Salty. <laughs> yeah, so. that's, a, that's a good. Wings that's a the, good award, though. Wings gets the Jimmy Salty award. <laughs> um, I've got the best first episode. Like, I think this is an mm. episode that every like person pilot? should watch. I think it. Oh, the best pilot. Yeah, everyone should watch it. Daria. They should show it in schools. It's it's like everyone should see it, and it's Blossom. Mm. Oh. oh yeah, you love. Blossom. I absolutely adored the pilot. Of I Blossom. mean, it should pretty much be in every health class. Yeah. Why are they showing this in schools? Because you learn about periods. Yeah, but it's like it just is a really good oh, coming yeah. of age yeah, moment. Wait. And then the were we all here for Blossom? Joe was. I, I listened to it, but like, yeah, oh, tell okay. me, like, tell me again what Blossom is and what the pilot was. Okay, she gets her period. So Blossom has is a only <laughs> girl that has two brothers and lives with her singer, single dad. The mom was in Paris or something. Yeah, yeah. This is the show with Joey Lawrence. Yeah, Whoa. and <laughs> she has a friend named Six, and she's dealing with getting her period and talking to her family about it, <laughs> and liking boys and being a teenage girl. And it was good. It was legit. It was like written in a really smart way. It mm-hmm. was thoughtful like adults would find it funny and kids would find it funny and yeah. it's like one of those moments I, I i mean i didn't watch it i wasn't there but like I f- from what i heard it sounds like it would actually be a good episode for like high school boys to watch to like kind of understand like mm. probably what this thing is you might have even <laughs> learned something from listening like i don't know yeah 
Um, mm-hmm. But unfortunately, that had a really terrible finale. Hmm. I don't remember. Oh, yeah. No, I do. Bad. A lot of clips. <laughs> yeah. A lot of awkwardness. Good old clips. Awkward teen years. But yeah, best first episode, Blossom. Hmm. Nice. Very educational. Mm-hmm. That's a great uh, theme. I learned Opening a lot. Theme. Opening credits. I learned what a hoo-ha was. Hmm. <laughs> hoo-ha! <laughs> yep. Oh man. Is that, is that <laughs> That's a what catchphrase I meant. or something? That's what I meant. <laughs> Um, Blossom's catchphrase. Aww. Joey goes, whoa. And, <laughs> and Blossom goes, hoo ha! <laughs> Yuck. Uh, Joe? Um, I have an award for best hang. And by that, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're going to have to explain that yeah. one. <laughs> like a hang glide? Best hang. I feel like we, we've talked about this in a few shows where, like, we talk about wanting to just, like, hang out with these characters because they seem like mm-hmm. they'd be fun yeah. to hang out with, like, good hang. Um, and I think we have a lot of good, um, uh, a lot of good contenders. I, I wrote down the the kids Huey and Riley from Boondocks. Mm. Nice. Um, just because they're just smart and crazy, and it'd be fun to chill with them. I mean, of course, uh, what's his name? Gordon from Elf. Yeah. Nice. The, the titular character from I, Elf. I want to hang out with Elf. <laughs> Brian from Limitless. Limitless because he's a guy taking drugs and being smart. That could be annoying though. <laughs> I wrote and I wrote down like an honorable mention for um, Olivia Pope from Scandal, just because nice. like they just the that's what the show told us is you want to hang out with this character because she's so smart. But I kind of feel like if I were to actually hang out with Olivia, she would just like she. I feel like she wouldn't have time for me, and I'd I'd know that there's dramatic stuff going on, and I'd be like, Hey, Olivia, what happened with the president? And she'd be like, it's, I can't tell you. It's serious. Was it Hank Hill from King of the Hill? Is that who you <laughs> no. want to? Hang out? <laughs> no. So my award went to. Uh, the, another titular character, Norman Wilfred. Bates. <laughs> ah. Norman Bates. Wilfred from from Wilfred. Yeah, I, I would have I would have actually guessed that. Who, if you haven't seen Wilfred, go listen to our pod about it. But like, it's uh, it's the neighbor's dog who's a man in a dog suit, and he like is a solid hang, like a good dude to hang out with. He does love pot, so you have to be 420 friendly if you're hanging out with Wilfred. <laughs> sure. Um, but not only is he just like fun to hang out with and watch like Matt Damon DVDs, but he also like will get you into some shenanigans and like teach you about yourself. You'll so, learn. Yeah. From Wilfred. He's he's good for you and he's like a good guy to just chill with and do nothing. I'd hang with Wilfred. Yeah. I would. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were gonna say uh, Riggins from Friday Night Lights. <laughs> I knew he was not just gonna say Riggins likes to party. Yeah. yeah, knock a girl up. God, whatever. Best person to learn how to keg stand from Riggins <laughs> from Friday Night Lights. Um, my first award is uh, my most powerful. Uh, the TV show that gave me the most powerful realization this year. Oh. Most powerful, like yeah. it'll change your life. I mean. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'll tell you what the realization Most was after. I guess. Powerful realization. I realized something. It was a it was like a realization about the show that I had like never thought about mm-hmm. knowing like the okay. existence of the show and I went, "Oh man, that's what's happening." And like we talked about it on the So okay. it's on the Let's episode. See, Roseanne was season 1. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there was a pretty big reveal when we figured out Bates Motel, right? Yeah, well, yeah. we figured out like that's not it, but okay. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. And that but, like, one, it was how that, it like... was the timeline and stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can't get away from the thought that when you say it gave me the most powerful realization that that's just innuendo for boner. I had a, <laughs> this this character getting you know, a real powerful realization over here. It was a it was a realization about a character um, hmm. in the show, hmm. and, and it's really not as deep as you guys are trying to okay. go for. But it was the thing that when I like remembered, it was like, oh yeah, that really blew my mind for a little bit while I realized it. This is like a main character. No, I'm just gonna tell you. Okay. It's uh, <laughs> it's uh from Power Rangers Turbo. Oh my god. Yeah. And it was okay. that I realized that Zordon wasn't a head in a tube; that he was actually a dude in a different dimension, like, like he's projecting. Just, uh, he's just video chatting in. Yeah, I didn't realize that yeah. he's basically on a big Skype call. Yeah, I kind of thought he was a floating like head, Like, I too. always said, you're the one that realized it to me. Yeah? Because we were talking about the end and the dark matter guy or whoever, mm-hmm. the the guy that Diva Talks left, because mm-hmm. she was kicking their ass, and then she just left. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then that's what drove them to then go into space. 
Mm -hmm. um, at the end or start to because I did not get the point for space in that episode. I'm still mad about that. Someday they met just like regular Zordon. But like, Mm. yeah, so they're trying to go into space to Mm. save, to try to find and save Zordon Mm -hmm. because he was captured. And then I was like, holy shit, Zordon's not a tube, a head in this tube. Yeah. He's a dude Skyping for hundreds of episodes. He's just been Skype calling the Power Rangers. Yeah. Blew my mind. I'm kind of imagine he's wearing just like all black, kind of like Steve Jobs. <laughs> it's like a black turtleneck. He's got a yeah. He, he never turns his head to the right. He's got a Bluetooth in his <laughs> in his ear. You never see it. Yeah, I feel like like they end up at some point going to, and actually like meeting Zordon, and it's just like Dave Chappelle, and he's just like, yeah, there's a lot of distortion in space. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you there's guys. There's no way. <laughs> there's no way that like meeting Zordon after however many seasons, if if and when they ever do it, mm-hmm. there's no way that it's gonna live up to the expectation I have. Yeah. Because it's, be it's just going to be the wizard behind the curtain, you know? Mm-hmm. It's not going to be Oz. It's going to be just like, hey, man, what's up, mom? But what if it was Brian I'm, Cranston, yeah, though? My name's Tobias Funke, and I'm uh... <laughs> that, that would work <laughs> for me. <laughs> um, all right, so that's mine. Jimmy, what's you got your oh, next one? Yeah, uh, yeah, totally. Uh, what I was thinking about was... Hold on. <laughs> uh, He's never prepared. <laughs> oh, best musical performance. So Ooh, is performance this, oh, in the show. Perform- oh, I oh. actually have a my own award in the same <gasps> category. Oh. Wait, you have a Dario? best musical performance? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So actually, I was gonna. Well, I have a name for the award, but it's for What's most your... memorable music. Oh, okay. So similar. Well, okay. Charmed isn't in, in this <laughs> I, season, so it's not that I for you. I do love that song. What's the Charmed song? I don't even know. I could sing it again, but I won't. Oh, that's season two. Yeah. I, was, I almost Wrong said season. like, oh, I forgot to listen to that one today. Is it from Allie McBeal, Jimmy? Uh, I did not watch that show. Is yours yeah, from is Allie that, McBeal? Is Allie McBeal? <laughs> it's totally a Vonda Shepard award. Yeah. From, <laughs> from yeah. Vonda Shepard. Vonda Rhymes. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. So yes, the Vonda Shepard award goes to Vonda Shepard for the first year um, for the most memorable music. Because anyway. she was in the first, and you know, last we give out first right? and lasty awards, and you just change the type of award. Yeah. Called it the Vonda Shepherd. It's the award. Vonda Shepherd Award the Vonda for Shepherd music. First for music. Sure, sure. So anyway, that's mine. But what's yours? <laughs> oh, oh, is it my turn now? <laughs> I, <laughs> I was not trying to skip you. <laughs> well, you both had essentially the same thing, and I could guess hers, and I don't know what yours is. Uh, so you don't have any thoughts. Whatsoever. I mean, mine was, was my thought was Ally McBeal. That was like the performance I could remember. I mean, we watched Glee, which is oh. literally about music performances. <laughs> <I guess. laughs> but that's not it. It's uh, Andy Griffith <laughs> playing. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Honey. <laughs> playing some like actual bluegrass and singing on the porch at the end of the f- pilot? Uh, I yeah, that Vonda, was in the pilot. Yeah. Vonda Shepard, mate. I'd love if he did that at the end of every episode. Every, Every episode, yeah, maybe he maybe he might he have not gotten know. my worst first last <laughs> if he would have played some guitar in that last episode. If he would have done anything. Yeah, if he would have been in the episode acting, so not phoning it in. Thanks, Andy. Hmm. Yeah, that was Matt really good. Lock. You're right, Jimmy. That was really good. That looks like a great yeah. show, though. We should watch that. I know. Put it on yeah. the list. Put it on the list. Matlock. All yeah. right. Well. You oh, guys already heard. We about got yours. <laughs> what about yours, Joe? The Vonda Shepard Award goes to you, Vonda Joe. Shepard. Vonda Shep. I don't know her name. Vonda Shep. Vonda. Vonda Shepard. Vonda Shepard. Shep. Right. What a wacky name that lady's got. Her music. Oh. You were very happy about this. <laughs> no. Um, I have uh, an award for best finale wedding because it's just you know Ooh, that's maybe a we'll good make this one. an annual one because it's something that comes up in every pretty much every show that this is just like. A wedding. Okay, so there was a wedding in love, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But there was the one, and I don't think you're going to say it, because there was the Allie McBeal wedding. Right, yeah. Uh, um, but I think that one got on your nerves. Yeah. Because of the, the was it the officiant? He had like a disease that he kept falling <laughs> asleep. Yeah. Like so they had that like, narcolepsy? this chain yeah. that they yeah. yanked on. And it was it narcolepsy? And it was like... It was- it was funny, and then it got not funny, and oh. then they like didn't do it long enough to like make it to funny bring it again. Back around, so it was just like annoying when they were done. They didn't yeah. uh, consult Seth Chris, MacFarlane. Was on it that? Christy Ricci? Oh yeah, Christy, and it was Christine Ricci. Christine Ricci. Christina Ricci. Hmm. 
Um, was the officiant who fell asleep? No, she no, was getting married. Is... Oh. Um, he didn't oh. get married in Limitless. They didn't get married in. I'm not gonna go through the all. Of them. <laughs> <laughs> time. To do. There was one in the Scandal. Um, mm-hmm. where like the worst character got married to another they got terrible married... character. Oh yeah, <laughs> like they... in jail or something. They got married at the end of Roswell. Did they? Yeah. So that's not that apparently. Yeah. Remember, it was like the very last thing. No, when they, they graduated, right? Yeah, and then they got married right oh. at the end. Well, I fell asleep, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> um. Oh, it was man seeking woman. Oh, I haven't seen that. Oh, damn that it. was that was just you and me. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good one. It was like a there was like a cult in their wedding hmm. thing. It was it was an interesting wedding. That sounds fun. I think you would have liked it. So has so, he already said it? Yeah, yeah, it was love. Okay. <laughs> just, so it was the first one the I said. First. Yeah. yeah, you were about that wedding. Yeah, it was. I really liked it. Now the more I think about it too, I like like, like it's a great ending to a show. Because hmm. that's the one where like the beginning of the episode starts off, like sets up the plot point of they're gonna go like elope but they're gonna bring all their friends with them to catalina island and like do this thing with just this small ceremony with their friends but then it doesn't feel right and they don't go forward with it and then at the end they like sneak off like while their friends are partying to like go like actually elope um and there's just like a small scene but like there's just a shot of them like back at the water at night like about to do it and they're like giggling and then the show just ends and i'm just like that is great (laughs) Hmm. because it just seems like Again, with not having seen the show, it seemed like the thesis from that is just like, well, like, I don't know. We're just, we like, we love each other. We're just going to figure it out. That's how love goes. You can't just plan everything. Hmm. True. Best wedding. Best. All right. Hmm. Good award. I feel like you definitely need to do that every year. It wasn't, it wasn't bad. You explained it well. Um, I still don't think they should have gotten married. Listen, Wilco was playing. <laughs> yeah, you're happy with that. Um, my next award is the worst relationship award. Ooh, a lot of bad ones. Who had the? And it's not Cougar from love. Oh, I mean, not mm. from love either. Um, is it a? Uh, uh, is his name is Dale it, from King of the Hill? Is and it his Allie wife and who's cheating on him with with the? Uh, Native American guy? No. Oh. <laughs> no. Or is it Allie McBeal and the ghost? Yeah, it's Allie McBeal and her ghost boyfriend. Is it really? Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, I called it. Oh, oh man. Because I thought you were going to say that, uh, I don't remember the character's names, but in Deadly Games, there's like the nerd guy who like, is trying to get back with his ex-wife, so oh, he yeah. brings an assault rifle to her home. Yeah. Oh, the yeah. First, the first episode where he brings oh, an man. assault rifle. You gotta come great. with me. Well, that was like after her like husband, her fiance. Yeah was like it, explaining how they like blow each other in front of his mom or something yeah. like that. So, so that, that really woman's weird. in two oh. terrible relationships. Yeah. Yikes. Yeah. It was bad, but, but not as bad as it, being with no, the ghost. Not as bad as being with the ghost for the entire length of your show, essentially. Mm-hmm. Remember when she had a kid? Yeah. The and it was Hayden <laughs> Penitentiary. It was Hayden. <laughs> they were Hayden. like 10. Some crap. Oh. oh, that show. Fucking Allie McBeal. All right, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're just going to roll right into this. Well, I don't have much to say about it. It was terrible. <laughs> she was dating um, a ghost. <laughs> do we have, do you, what do you want do you, me to say? Do you guys have more after this? I got one more. I okay, two, good. I have two more. I okay, have one. good. I don't, because I just, I just don't want to end on this one, but oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> most likely to end up on the hashtag me too chopping block. Jesus Christ. As, oh. as an, Elf? As an actor. <laughs> Is it Paul Wait, Fusco? As a, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so, uh, the, too real. so you're saying wait, the actual actor or yeah. the character that they play in this show? Yeah. The actor. Oh, no. Oh. Uh, like, do you like have information? Like, no, I do yeah, You're about breaking news. Dude, if you see something, say something. <laughs> you make some wild accusations otherwise. <laughs> are we about to get in there? Yeah, this is just based on... Are we, uh, we going to be on TMZ tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, if you're listening to this and you have something to step forward about, you know... <laughs> So if if uh if Ben Savage uh, approached you in any way, wait, is it Ben Savage? Yeah, from oh. Boy Meets World. <laughs> oh, I, I just feel I don't like know much about what he's been up to. Apparently, exactly. You know what he's been? He did about one episode of a random TV show a year since then. Well, he did Boy Meets Girl or Girl Girl Meets. When this world. girl meets world. <laughs> La- went on for a couple seasons and he was, I think he was the dad of like a girl. 
who is uh-huh. basically... Yeah, my students watch that. Yeah, but that didn't last very long. And I just feel like, A, he was already, by the end, so the finale of that, he's like already kind of too old for that show. Everybody mm-hmm. is. And it's uncomfortable and weird. And he was not a good actor. And he's <laughs> still just been doing that once in a while. Mm-hmm. So it's time for if some he's not sexual using that. For, yeah, how does that? If get he's so. not really making money off of it, yeah. so he's got to get power from somewhere. So basically, oh. Jimmy's just worried that he is going to be a little too down on his luck, and then he's going to get a little grabby. I think. <laughs> no, I'm worried that that's happened already. Oh. <laughs> Let it go on every set of whatever random oh show my. he's been on. Defend yourself, Ben Savage. Yeah, we'll take your silence I feel as guilt. Kinda bad for Ben. <laughs> He's and he's no Fred Savage, you know. He's got this older brother's shadow. He's hanging in. He's but, no Randy Savage. Ben, if at any, <laughs> Ben, and if at any time you want to come on to Brother. our podcast with Jimmy and have a conversation about how you don't meet two people, mm-hmm. we'll let you come. We'll watch you a different show. You meet two people. <laughs> oh man. Is that not the right way to use that hashtag? No, it's, yeah, no, it's probably. That was, that was a. That was rough. He's no Savage Garden. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Joe. <laughs> uh, back Got to any the more in there? No, Oof. that's it. Oof. Savage yeah. Land from uh, X Men? Yeah, I got it. He's yeah, from I, the Savage Land? You're going. It's too, too nerdy. <laughs> so we're going nerdy. back to X Men. No, we're done. You got another <laughs> one, Claire? Um, okay, so uh, I would say that this is not for me. Wait, what? I, I mean, I asked people what they'd oh, like okay. to contribute to this. Sure, sure. So a fan said that the biggest oh. fail. For this podcast, so they just fail for the podcast. Of a host, is that when I? Or, uh, is that the time that I know it. released the episode with only one? Yep, track? the one mic release track. Is <laughs> <laughs> the biggest fail? I think that, that was only for about twelve hours. <laughs> that was so funny though. <laughs> I listened to a we lot. We put it of on the Sono speaker as loud <laughs> as possible, just so you're just making noises by yourself. <laughs> I did not. Get to hear any yeah. of that. Oh. There's like a part where you're like doing like a Kira Knightley impression for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> There's no context. Dude, wait, so what episode Wonderful. was that again? I think it was the office. It must have been something British. I was trying to figure it out. I think it was the office. <laughs> yeah. I mean, but because if you because guys... you fixed it, I couldn't figure out what episode it was. Sure, yeah, I mean, I had to fix it, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> but I did yeah it's funny I heard some people Excellent. listen to it and Man. loved it Joe was I'm, like all about it oh, I was like crying at work it was so funny <laughs> and then he came home and he played it and I was like what is going on I don't understand but it was <sighs> I'm so happy that you that the fan brought that up because yeah. I didn't have a episode we fucked up this which oh. I've had I've had the last two oh, but, well I'm glad we I could add to that I, I thought that we hadn't fucked anything up thanks Josh Hey, happy to help. Happy Keep to our help. streak alive. No problem. Hey, I can. I mean, I can do it whenever. I could re-upload the office like it was if we want. Bonus A bonus pod. episode. Yeah. Bonus episode is the office mess up. Just me talking. I'll switch it. I'll make it up. Be only Joe. <laughs> it's just giggles like that. That's it. Probably. Um, Joe, what you got? All right. Yeah. So this is my last Best one. Last giggles. So we've got. We had a lot of uh, space shows this this season, so I picked sci-fi. I picked a best alien. Ooh! Um, I will tell you the runners up are, of course, Gordon from Elf, very very adorable. Runner up. Uh, The sexy teens from Roswell, runners up. (laughs) Congratulations. Um, Diva talks from Turbo. Like I think I'm only going to do like one Mm. nominee per show because there's a lot lot of aliens in Power Rangers Turbo, but Diva talks takes the takes the cake there, but. My best alien was, was Ra- ta- Raj. <laughs> was Raja Raj from Raj Aliens in America. Oh my god! <laughs> I knew it. If you, it. Yeah, if you <laughs> haven't heard that episode, Aliens in America was a show from like 2010 or so about um, a family taking in a uh, foreign exchange a student. foreign exchange student, and they right. wanted like a Swedish boy to like help their son be popular, but instead they got. Um, like a Muslim Pakistani kid named Raja. And they were horrified because he's Muslim. And you understand how terrifying that is, right? <laughs> no. I mean, I learned while watching the show. <laughs> um, so yeah, so he gets he gets the nod because um, he was a delightful human being. And I want to <laughs> emphasize, 
human being. <laughs> <laughs> he was a person, not a scary like <laughs> monster that was living in their house. Right. Elf is a scary monster living in your house. <laughs> yeah. He wanted to eat your cat. He's terrifying. In that, Raja in would never eat. Full man suit. Raja, would... Raja would never eat your cat. Never. I don't know no. that he eats meat. To be honest, <laughs> he might not even eat meat. He might be a vegetarian. <laughs> He's just gonna like clean yeah. up your living room and like play soccer with your kid, hmm. which terrifying. he did. Terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> which he did. Yep. Nice. Nice. Good twist on that award there, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and my, so my, I guess second to last one I have, actually, I'm going to say that one. I'm going to do that one last. My next one is the show. So I looked and yeah, I think it's still correct. My count. We did nine shows this month, this, uh, this season that had high school elements, either okay. the main characters like went to high school or there was a lot to do in a high school kind mm-hmm. of thing. Um, so those were teen Aliens in America, Friday Night Lights, mm-hmm. Daria, Blossom, Boy Meets World, Power Rangers Turbo, King of the Hill. Mm-hmm. He wasn't high school, but Bobby and still went to school mm-hmm. and it was it had school stuff. Glee and Roswell. Mm-hmm. So all those had a lot to do with <clears throat> school. Mm-hmm. Which one of those shows was most high school accurate? Hmm. Um, <laughs> is this like your high school accurate? <laughs> just, Roswell. <laughs> I just um. Well, I picked two shows, it's Aliens, <laughs> and I think I picked them kind of for different reasons. Um, and I can explain that, but um, most high school it, accurate. But like, do you think what shows like kind of picked, kind of depicted? I mean, you know, I'm gonna love Blossom. Yeah, yeah. but I don't think she had a. Lot, she, I think hers was more um accurate towards like a kid that age. But not necessarily for like her school. Okay, I mean, so you're, Daria you're school. had the most like school, school archetypes. Scenes. Yeah, mm-hmm. Daria was one of them mm-hmm. that I picked. Glee had a lot of archetypes. Yeah, um, Glee was nothing like a real school ever. <laughs> <laughs> nothing about Glee was real. <laughs> no, that's true. No part of a school that was true. Power Rangers, uh, not so much either. I would say because mm-hmm. what school mm-hmm. gets attacked by giant monsters? I mean, come on. Um, but Daria was one, and my mm-hmm. other one was Boy Meets World. Okay. Um, With Mr. Feeney? I just think they... Well, I mean, that was the weird part was that the teacher lived across the street, so that was a weird interaction within school. But I think him I and Sean... like pretty close to me. Like Matthew and Sean, like in school, like going in between classes and stuff like that. I feel like it was pretty school accurate with okay. how they interacted with the teachers. And there's like later on, I know we were watching some of the teachers like took interest in them and tried to help them. And maybe that was maybe a little bit exaggerated, but... I think that was like a really good, uh, like a wholesome version of what high school accurate could be kind mm-hmm. of thing. And then Daria was my other pick. So there's two. And I think that was most high school accurate for like how Daria would act within school. Mm-hmm. Cause I think all the teachers were embellished and mm-hmm. that was a little crazy, but just kind of like how like a whatever rebellious girl, how Daria was, was like just kind of, that's how they would be in school. Mm hmm. Yeah, and that's how they would see the rest of the school. And, and, yeah, it was like, it was I was high school accurate to a girl like Daria seeing school. Right. It mm-hmm. was it was accurate to her view. Mm-hmm. So that's why I picked that one. Those are good picks. Mm, thank you. Mm. Yeah, a girl like that looks around her whole school and is just like, no one's hair is moving. <laughs> oh <Yeah>. my god. <laughs> <laughs> that one teacher that was scary. His like everything shook though. The so. little jittery guy. Yeah. yeah. I feel like his mm. hair shook. Is it like Beavis and Butthead guy. Was yeah, it, I don't know. Like Beavis and Butthead, like everything is shaking for some reason. It's yeah. just the weird animation style that they did. It's all yeah. terrible. Which was also MTV, so you know they had yeah. to have one. They had to have one to keep it in the same universe. Jimmy, you got one last one. Yeah, my last one. So I mentioned that I spent a lot of time uh, watching all the um, openings of stuff. Oh, yeah. um, so I picked best theme. This theme song, I should say, which is definitely the best opening credits, I think. Mm-hmm. Best theme song. Um, we did this last last one too because we had like we had a great argument about Queen, King, King of the Hill. King, oh, that's that's a good one. That's got to be it, right? Yeah, it's definitely. King <laughs> <of the Hill. laughs> it's King it's of the Hill. so classic. <laughs> it's a really. Good when I was great. listening to him, I almost went Mad Men because mm-hmm. like. 
the 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 opening credits is amazing but it's like just really well orchestrated and stuff but the king of the that's just so classic like you don't get mad men's song stuck in your head but like tomorrow i'm gonna wake up (laughs) and do what joe just did yeah (laughs) that's how i'm gonna wake up (laughs) yeah there was a lot there had i done like an opening credits there was some there was some pretty solid opening credits this uh on season three of first and last the uh weird random like um kind of nintendo mixed with lots of action shots in deadly games it's pretty solid and christopher <laughs> lloyd doing weird stuff deadly games Cri- critically uh criminally underrated criminally acclaimed probably, it's probably <laughs> critically underrated as well. <laughs> but you know um yeah, and i have i have one last award to give out and that is uh uh my favorite or best prediction made. Ooh, that's a really good award. So, so um, I have. I, is it three. one of yours? No. It's, oh. it's one Did it end up being you correct? Three. No. <laughs> <laughs> but it was nice. just my favorite prediction, and I want it to rear re- its head next season because I want it to be right in one of the episodes. Um, okay. I had. I know what show it's from. I know who did it, and I know what the prediction was. So those are kind of. You You're guys staring guess. at Jimmy, so it's got to be something that Jimmy said. It is not something that Jimmy said. Yeah. Ah. I feel staring like at because me, you're looking at Jimmy, not, yeah. it means it wasn't Jimmy. <laughs> I think my micro- Dang it, come on, guys. My microphone was just like pointed at Jimmy. <laughs> and in fact, Jimmy wasn't in this episode oh. at all. Mm. Yeah, I have no idea. I'll see you I, later, guys. I don't it, even remember what I say. It you, was. Uh, you give it to us piece by piece. It's like, got to be Joe. Joe always does really... Show. It was from Love. Okay. The show Love. Huh. And the, oh, I mean, I can, I'll tell you. So, I mean, it's obviously between you and Claire. Yeah. One of you did it. Um, and I'll tell you what the prediction was. He's and staring I, at me now. So, it's I'm definitely sure Joe. You'll know who did it. <laughs> the prediction was someone eats a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was me. <laughs> yep. And the award goes to Claire for someone eats a Woo! hot dog. <laughs> what? I feel like I couldn't think of any. Other ones, so I was just picked hot dog. I loved it. That's... I was like, oh, <laughs> I was like scanning. I remember you did it. I thought it was funny. And then when we watched the show, I'm scanning the back because we went to that boardwalk. Yeah. So I'm scanning the back the whole be time, a hot dog. waiting for someone to eat a hot dog in front of me. It is really <laughs> fun to watch the finales, like looking for things, yeah, like yeah. when it's something like that, because then you're watching the show just intently looking for a cowboy hat. Well, or... when we did King of the Hill, um, I made all negative predictions saying like, there won't be a cowboy hat, there won't be this, there won't be this. That was fun for me wrong. when I saw them like, there's a cowboy hat. Yeah. Like, I got to call them out <laughs> during the show. Yeah, it's uh, it's fun to have like a Waldo finding type scenario in yeah. your in your episodes, especially if the finale sucks. Yeah, especially with the fin- it keeps Joe awake during Roswell <laughs> if you make him look for something. <laughs> There'll be a little green man somewhere, Joe. Look the whole time. <laughs> you can do it. All right. Um, so before oh yeah, who won? My throat gives out and I stop talking forever. We oh. have to give out the. How many points in total were awarded? Do we know? I can tell you. I really can. Like, all like added all together. Yeah, all together. Because no. like, if you think about it, there's many, three people ish per episode. Sure. Twenty five episodes. Yeah. We each make predictions. There's a lot of predictions. I feel like there's an average of like three guests? points per episode. Do we have any guests besides Matt? We had uh, our Jeff. Here. Jeff was on again. Jeff was what on. What was he on? Boy Meets World. Oh yeah. Jeff was on, and our friend Mark was on as well. Mark. That was this Matt. season. Yep. Oh, we talked sorry, about this. Mark. Jeff was on for Boy Meets World, and uh, Mark was visiting us during Friday Night Lights. So yeah. we did. There was twenty five episodes mm-hmm. that we do in a season. Um, we scored a grand total of all five people together. We scored sixty four. Point two six six points. <laughs> Not bad. Six people. I remember when you gave like a point range of three point three three point six six. Yeah, and it was point six nine. Yeah. Well, and I think I went for zero nice. points. <laughs> um, and we didn't come up with a. My favorite scoring was when Jimmy could have scored eleven points last week, and he scored negative one. Instead. Negative one. Oh, negative one. Out. <laughs> yeah. I love that you guys are using integers. It was pretty great. Well. Yeah. He, we gave uh i don't think you i don't know if you listened to it i haven't yet but uh yeah we gave jimmy like a way to try to 
catch up because going into last week's episode, um, I was a I was clear. I was behind. I was winning, but there was a possibility for people to catch up if they would have scored enough points. So I gave uh, a quiz at the beginning <laughs> worth four points total, and Joe got three questions right, Ooh. and Jimmy got zero right. Oh, and then <laughs> and then. <I> can't be. <laughs> And then now I gotta go back and listen. I yeah. feel bad. Well, and it gets it gets better though because then Jimmy made six predictions, <laughs> and Joe let him A high for me for sure. Yeah. So and so then Joe let him do six predictions, except Jimmy had to circle one answer, and if he would have got that right, that counted as negative points. So yeah. out of or all, double or right? double or yeah, yeah or something. I think yeah, it was two points or or negative or negative one. Yeah. So Jimmy uh, got. So that would have been a total. Jimmy would have been able to score a uh, high ten. Risk, high I think it was ten. Maybe mm-hmm. some. No, no, it was eleven because there was four points at the beginning of the episode. His yeah. six plus his potential bonus. We're doing one. math. Mm-hmm. So he could have scored Everyone eleven. Everyone at home is riveted. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very angry. Thank you. So he could have scored eleven points, but if he would have gotten, but what happened was he got all of his six predictions wrong, and the thing was, if he would have got the one that he circled wrong, he gets negative. So he ended up with negative one. For the episode, and that yeah, amazing. and didn't the question so you didn't win. And didn't the question is, even. did that make Jimmy not win in last place? This this uh, you gotta be careful. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm gonna like mute that bump, and no one's gonna know why I'm like yelling at you. <laughs> Don't hit your microphone. I'm like we didn't hear anything. Um, I'm trying to Mark with one point. Woo! Okay. Well, way to go, Mark. Jeffy right. scored two when he was uh, with nice. the Boy Meets World. Mm-hmm. Um, coming up in would be uh, fourth place, I guess, um, would be Claire. Yeah, with Woo. five points. That's so you lot. almost got one point per episode you were in. If that's you were that's gonna be my goal <laughs> next year. Well, yeah. I mean, I thought you were. I thought right away. I thought you were only in five, and I was like, oh, she got five points for five episodes. And if you would have gotten twenty-five points, you would have won. So like, oh, it's interesting. I mean, so really, going forward, right. what we need to know is if you can score one point an episode, you're probably gonna <laughs> you're win. in good shape. Yeah. Um, uh, in third place, okay, who's it gonna be? We have with fifteen point six 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 points, Jimmy. When did I score mm. point six six six? <laughs> that one episode you kept saying six 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 on in Glee. Oh no! That was wait, it Glee? What, what you was... got it in Glee. Yeah, I think we give you partial credit on I a production. I thought it was <laughs> maybe Bates <Yeah>. Motel, <laughs> or like from Dusk Till Dawn, or something scary. Maybe we gave you know? like two thirds of a point on. Yeah, you got some together. weird. Yeah, you got <laughs> two thirds of a point in Glee. Repeating. Um, that yeah. sex is still going somewhere. <laughs> somewhere it's still there. <laughs> and in so then, in first place. Oh. That's how you do it, right? You get third place on first place. Yeah. Um, in first place with twenty three points was me. Hmm. Mm. I know you guys are Yay. very excited about are that. Are you going to add in like, some sound effects of clapping Josh and cheering? Got the, <laughs> Josh got the taste of victory last season, and now he's, he can't get enough. You did it. It's, it's back-to-back? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. What, how many points did Joe get? Joe got 17.6 points. Oh, yeah. you had a, but you're also here every episode. I'm not. I, I'm yeah. out, I don't make you guys not come <laughs> to every episode. So <laughs> I'm here almost every episode. Like I'm like seventeen for twenty three or something. If Josh is twenty three, so did you score one five. from every episode no, that you were so, here? No. So the thing is, is like if you look back at the scoreboard uh, that I have, is I didn't. Sc- I scored uh, a hefty amount high P cat. If for everyone that can hear a cat whining, um, for I got a lot of zeros, but I got a lot of twos. Hmm. So yeah. I got I got two things right in a lot of episodes. I must have gotten a lot of zeros because I know I had multiple in some episodes. You had some pretty high. You had one three and a half point day and nice. one two point six 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 point day. Hey, but you also had a negative one and a lot of zeros. Yeah, because <laughs> so. I was definitely I was here for fifteen episodes, I think. Yeah. So no, twenty episodes. I got fifteen points. So really, I think the thing is, is you guys want to win, just show up. <laughs> well, invite me more. Yes. Well, it's hard Ooh. to make predictions too. Because I mean, open invite yeah. if you show up and sometimes here. you predict something that's mics. like 
going to be obvious, you think, and then you get negative one point on it. Like, yeah. <laughs> I like, mean, I would yeah, never. Sometimes Jimmy that said, happens. There's going to be cat jokes in the finale. And it's like, <laughs> oh, there's going to be cat jokes in Alf. Way to go, Jimmy. Yeah. yeah. And there was not one. And then we looked joke. it up, and apparently it like become a negative thing that like kids were putting cats in microwaves and shit. Yeah. So they stopped so they making stop. cat jokes. Yeah. They stopped How was I to it? know that? <laughs> I That's can't his wait. thing. That's the only thing I know about yeah. Alf besides he's an alien. That's like if we were watching Garfield and you're like, I bet there's going to be a reference to lasagna. Yeah. <laughs> and then they're, and then they're like, snarky we stopped putting, to stop putting lasagna references in Garfield because uh, we didn't want to make obese children sad. <laughs> yeah. I love lasagna. Hey, Me guys. Too. It was a good season. I appreciate it. Well. <laughs> you, I appreciate everyone on the microphone and everybody listening. Especially hey. the people listening. Keep sending us stuff. Keep sending Joe um, happy thoughts. Yeah, and send us suggestions. suggestions. Yeah, hit us with um, a review. Yeah, reviews are great. Constructive criticism is great. Yeah, please no more dick pics. <laughs> <laughs> you, we, you know we've, who you are. We've marked you as spam. <laughs> please stop. We're asking nicely. Yeah. Come on, Doug. <laughs> is it the guy from Boy Meets World? <laughs> ben. <laughs> Damn Oof. it, Ben. Hey, you brought you started this, Jimmy. Yeah, he started the. He's ben. gonna sue you I for just, libel. I mean, <laughs> you, you started the Ben Savage War of 2019. <laughs> you started it. Um, well, we thank you for listening. Um, t- uh, stay tuned if you if you heard anything that we talked about today. It's all within season three. Yeah. So take a listen. Spin back through it through the ages. Uh, even with the bad shows, we said some good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> A, I'm all out of show ideas. Time. I might not pick a show next season. Just no. <laughs> I've lost my uh, confidence in picking shows. Oh, <laughs> well, like oh. Did you pick bad ones? Yeah, they're all bad. Cougar Town and Roswell was not. <laughs> you had, you had, Town Roswell. Plenty of shows out there, man. We, you've got a list you can look at. Stay yeah. tuned. We're going to start having uh, uh, subtitles under our seasons. Stay tuned to season four, Redemption. For Joe. Joe's okay. redemption. redemption. Joe's re- yeah, season four. Just Joe's start redemption. training. With a vengeance. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> is, is there a Rocky TV show? You can do it. Oh, shit. I All right. love that show. Well, but once again, if you want to get a hold of us, uh, you can get a hold of us at, at F and L podcast on the Gmails, mm. on the Twitters. Um, send us show suggestions. Rate us if you could. That'd be great and helpful. And also remember, no more dick pics, Ben. Until then, we'll see you next season on First and Last. Goodbye. Later. Bye. Chill. Drinking this beer? All right. You won't even say goodbye at the end of the season. Stay fresh, cheese bags. Oh, yeah. (laughs) At least you did. (laughs)